course, Nikolai Kuzovla starts to climb. Nikolai, again, has had a very good season. He took uh, a gold medal in speed in Durango. He's also had a very good lead season as well. Finished second overall, took a silver in Durango, first position and a gold medal in Beijing. 11th in Chongsong, 4th in Sazfei, and then finished with a bronze medal in Ravenstein. Not bad. Three medals to his name at the end of the season and a second place overall. Big reach with that left hand off that right hook on the side of the volume there for Kuzovlev. He's moving fast. He's moving very fast. 34-year-old Russian is no stranger to moving fast. He was in the speed finals earlier today. He got knocked out of the quarterfinals by Leonid Malik. Leonid was absolutely ruthless today. Reaches the disc with 5 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. That is the fastest we've seen anybody get there so far. And in fact, he's about 15 seconds faster than Hyung Park was at that point. Of course, Hyung Park, the only climber to top the route so far. And I don't know if you can tell on screen, but it just started snowing very, very heavily here in <laughs> Champagne. The snow is huge. I can barely see the <laughs> wall across from us. I'm not sure if a tree just fell over or something, but... Anyway, there's a lot of snow coming down. Kicks in to the underside of that EP volume. And he's moving so fast. And again, opting to go DTS, dry tool style. No fig fours or fig nines through that steep section. Just putting the fig four in at the end to make the clip. Very, very efficient. I love the DTS style. It's a really nice style. It takes so much power to move on. If you're wondering what the DTS style is, it's a style that was uh, began in France in the early 2000s, and it's essentially dry tooling with no heel hooks, uh, no fig fours, and no fig nines. Everything has to be done front on and as powerfully as possible. And the dry, to dry tooling style then toured around the world, and it actually was a competition tour called the Dry Tool DTS Tour. Lovely um, tour. Amazing tour. And now that DTS style is a widely regarded ethic amongst passionate dry toolers. Nikolai Kozovlev reaches that overhanging splinter with four minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Opts to go for the first hold on the right hand side. And you see you got a little darker over here. They can clearly see that there's got a spot on now. We've got the spot on Nikolai Kozovlev as he moves leftwards onto that entreprise volume. That's such a fast move. He does it again. Just very quick. He's moving so really confidently. quick. <laughs> he knows that Hyung Park climbs quickly. He knows that Yannick Glatard climbs quickly. He knows that if he wants to take that top spot, he too will have to climb very quickly indeed. Kicking his feet in fast. He takes a little rest over here, but I think that's a very smart thing to do because the next moves are going to be rather difficult again. Moving downwards over here, and he still keeps his feet in the wood as well. Because of left moves left again onto that wooden volume and then to the underside of it. Now, check this out for a statistic, Marianne. When he takes that hold, three minutes and oh. seven seconds that's a whole minute and four seconds. That is so fast. Than Sean Park. <laughs> it's funny, some climbers they move fast. But you don't really see it, but here you, you see just the, the kicking, the movement of his eye sacks. Everything is fast. His brain must, must work so fast to actually understand what he's doing with his body. It's really good to see. I think it's fair to say that Nikolai Kozovlev means business here today. Especially after he didn't take a medal in the speed. He definitely wants one in the lead and he wants the gold. Nikolai Kozovlev moving up now to the apex of that triangle. Just a few moves separate him and the gold medal position. Tricky next move. We saw the other ones really trying to find out the right position with their ice tools. Still has so much it. time to spare here. Nikolai Kozovlev matches in with that left hand. Big reach up and right now to the top hand. There it is, the bottom left hand side of that wooden volume. Another excellent move. <laughs> you see the snow sticking onto the holds over here, but it doesn't really matter for the climbing itself. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikolai Kozovlev, with one minute and 58 seconds on the clock, has only got two more moves to make to top this route. There's... Oh, no, he's off! No! I cannot no. believe what just he, happened! He just missed the undercut. He, he went the, he for the fig four instead of the undercut to go yes. for the finish. Skipped the move. Oh! 
And Nikolai Kuzovlev, with more time on the clock than anybody else, just made a massive, massive mistake. A mistake that will cost him that gold medal. He will sit now in a silver medal position. That was so close to gold, though. If, if, he, if he moved into the undercut, oh, that's a pity. It was such a perfect climb. It was a flawless climb. And look, you see the underside of that volume. That's where the hold was that he should have used. But instead, he reached up with the right hand off the fig four, uh, the left hand on the fig four, missed the last hold, no top for Nikolai Kuzovlev. And he knows that he should have made that move. What a shame.